Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Marina. If you're new here, then hello and welcome. I post two beauty related videos every single week. So if that sounds like something that you're interested in, then please consider hitting the subscribe button and joining my little friend community here on the internet. And I'll have my Instagrams up here if you'd like to give me a follow can be friends there also so today's video is gonna be my top 10 products for under 10 pounds I think I filmed this like years ago but I just wanted to do an up-to-date version and tell you the best products that you can get for under 10 pounds I mean who doesn't love a bargain um so yeah without further ado we are gonna jump into the video so let's go so I'm gonna categorize it let's start with the eyes so I have done a whole video on these and I use them in a lot of tutorials and um, these are the Barry M holographic eye shadow toppers so they do four shades which are here I have done a full review so I'm not going to go into too much detail, I'll have that link down below. But these are just incredible and I find that they transform any kind of colourful look that you're doing. Um, these are 4 99 each but they always have like a 3 for 2 offer or some form of offer, a free gift or something. And they are just absolutely amazing, they're duo chrome, they're a cream formula. I'll insert some swatches here. Oh. I just dropped one sorry hen uh but yeah you need these everyone needs these i barely hear anyone talking about them they're cruelty free they're vegan they are stunning what more could you want you need these wait she came back to me she came back Okay, next up on the eyes, these are eyeshadow palettes and they are £10 each and they are from Makeup Obsession. This is the Neon Jungle one, I've got a whole video review on this which I'll have linked down below. But this is what they look like and for £10 and you get all these shadows. Um, I've got Love Is My Drug which is here, this one's more neutral. And then we've got the Belle Jordan one. Which I believe is £10 as well. Um, I'll just do a quick couple of swatches for you. There, my hand has got like. Um, let me grab one from another palette. So the first two are from Belle Jordan, and then I'll take from. Love is my drug. Love is my drug. Okay, that'll do. That is them there. So really, really shimmery, really, really nice colour payoff. Um yeah, I really like them. And for £10 for the amount of shadows you get, I just think it's so affordable. They do work really nicely, they blend out nicely. And for £10, you literally cannot go wrong. I think they're great. And they do a whole range of different palettes. So, yeah, definitely check those out if you haven't. By the way, this is not sponsored. Nothing in this video is sponsored. This is all my opinions. Um, so, next up. Oh, another eye product, actually. <sighs> You're going to think this is sponsored by Barry M, but it's really not. This is the Barry M Glitter Rush Loose Glitter. This is in the shade Angel Wings. And this is the most beautiful peach shade, but it's got reflex of like gold and green. I have used this in a tutorial. Again, I'll have it linked down below. This is quite similar to NYX Lumi Lights, um, but it's a lot cheaper. This is under five pounds. They have a range of different colors as well. They have brighter ones, darker ones. Um, they're all great but this shade in particular I think it works with a lot of looks um, because it has got that like duochrome in there 
I really, really, really love this one. I think it's amazing. And then, then let's do lips. I've only got one lip product here. This was quite hard because I do have a lot of lip products. Now I feel like have I made the right choice? Okay, yeah. I was going to say between these and Colourpop, but with Colourpop it's a little bit harder to get. You can get it shipped to the UK, but you have to pay quite a lot in postage. So I'm going to stick with these. These are the NYX Suede Matte Lipsticks. I've got quite a few of these. If you want a more in-depth review on these, then just let me know. But the packaging is adorable as well. So this one is the shade Free Spirit. This is a really gorgeous nude. As you can see, that's all I've got left of it. And then I'll quickly show you this one. Why did I bring two nudes over? This is called Brunch Me. This is one of my favourite colours ever. So they have got a really big shade range. Um, they've got lip liners to match as well but the formula of this it's so soft and creamy they they are matte but they don't feel like really drying on the lips like some matte lipsticks can so yeah I do really like these and they've got a lot of colours to choose from so I'd recommend those then let's go on to complexion so I did kind of want to switch this up a little bit I'm going to start off with contour. So this is the Maybelline City Bronzer and Contour Powder. This is $7.99. This is in the shade Medium Warm 250. And I have used this as a contour today. I've got I've used this in loads of videos. So if you want to see this in action, I'll have a couple linked down below. But I just find this is a really nice tone for contour. And it's not too harsh. Like some of the more high-end palettes like KVD Beauty even Anastasia can be a little bit harsh and dark and you really have to work on blending it out where I find this is just so easy even if I don't blend it out properly it's just such a natural colour but it still contours the face which is why I really really love this I would always repurchase this and I do really recommend it I think it's great then highlighters I think you're gonna know what I'm gonna say here but these are the highlighters from makeup obsession are insane so this one is called mega destiny I've also got mega honey as well these are three pounds one two three three pounds for this beautiful honestly like I've got it on today three pounds and I've had this for like over a year and I use it really really frequently and it is stunning like it's just so pretty like you can see it on my cheeks at the moment oh. they've got um, a couple of different shades as well they've got like a purple one um, a deeper more browning one as well and a like pure white as well but my favourites are Mega Destiny this is more of the champagne one and Mega Honey is more golden but this one's my all time favourite which is why I thought I'd show it in this video if you want a new highlighter please just get this this is probably like like even over my high end ones it's amazing three pounds three pounds that's that is all that's all I'm saying and I have got another highlighter sorry I love highlighter I just love it probably one of my favorite um, things to put on my face um, but this is a highlighter palette and this is the revolution soap palette I'm so late on the bandwagon for this I only got this recently this is £8 and you get 8 shadows so it works out as £1 per eyeshadow and I think this is great for all skin tones um, you've got a couple of baked ones in here as well you've got ones for like deeper skin tones over here really pretty purple one 
let me wipe off my hand and I shall swatch a couple for you. I'm sure I've swatched this in another video, but oh my god, like literally, I don't know how well you'll see that. I'll pop them on my hand. So yeah, she's got nice, like, funky colours, but also wearable as well. And I just really like this, and I've found myself recently just really, really dipping into this, mixing the colours, and I just really love this palette. It's my baby. Okay. So next up we have got blushes, and... I love blush, I wear blush every day, not everyone likes blush, um, but the blush I have picked out, I just think the formula is lovely, they're really long wearing as well, and this is the Sleek Blushes, and these are 4 99 each, um, but they normally have got deals on, again, always got a deal, you can get these um, in Boots, these are Boots own like brand, I think they bought it off Superdrug so it can only be sold in Boots now. So this is the shade Pomegranate which is my favourite shade. The shade Rose Gold was gorgeous but I don't think they sell that anymore. This is the shade Flushed, I just want to show you, I'm not saying it's my favourite shade. Um, pomegranate is one of my favourite shades, although it is quite dark and purple, um, it is really, really pretty. The formula is great as well. Just do a little swatch. So it looks really dark, but actually when you blend it out, it's just a really, really pretty colour. This is more of a winter shade, but yeah. They don't have a huge shade range, unfortunately. You can get the blushes in there, like blush by threes as well, which is lovely. And also in like the contour kits, there is a blusher in there. So yeah, love their blushes. Really, really affordable. Unfortunately, not a great shade range, but I like these because they cater for darker skins as well. Whereas some brands, they just have really light shades, so it's not suitable for darker skins. So I do really like these for that reason as well. Two more products here to show you. So I've got a foundation. Um, this is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I use the shade Gold Beige. I'm pretty sure this is under £5. I'll have all the um, prices on the screen. And you can get this from Boots and you can get it from beauty bay i believe as well but when this runs out it is a foundation that i will 100 percent be repurchasing and if you are on a budget i just think this is amazing for the price it's got really really lovely coverage i'd say it's medium but you can build it up to a full coverage cruelty free as well which we like um tested under seven light conditions with top smartphones with and without flash goodbye photo flashback so yeah good for photography but i just think for an everyday foundation it is literally perfect it's not going to break the bank it looks lovely on the skin and it's so affordable the only thing i don't like is that it has got one of these applicators put it there so you can see so it literally like you dab it straight onto the face which I personally don't like I think it's really unhygienic but I would still get this again and I highly recommend it like it's amazing <laughs> and then girl my favorite concealer in the world I have her on today this is the Laura wait is this under 10 pounds <gasps> Oh my god, yes. 9.99. <sighs> okay, okay. This is the L'Oreal Infallible More Than Concealer. This is incredible. You get how many mils? Because you do get more than the average in here. Pretty sure. Where is it? 
Um, I can't see it. I'll put it up on the screen. I think it's on the label that you take off. But you get more in here than your average concealer, which is why it's slightly more expensive. But the formula of this is literally quite similar to the Tarte Shape Tape, but it's not as drying as the Tarte one. It is amazing coverage. I have used it today and I have I will have a video on this face makeup. So I'll have it linked down below as well. It's gonna be a lot of videos linked down below, but this is just a really, really lovely concealer. I love it. It's my favorite all-time concealer. And yeah, it doesn't crease under the eyes. It's not cakey. But yeah, I absolutely adore this. Quite a big shade range as well. I did swatch all of them and put them on my Instagram. If I can find that picture, I'll pop that on the screen now. So there is literally a shade for everyone. It is awesome. So yeah. I love her. You need to try her. Um, so this video is long enough and I thank you so much for watching this video. If you did like it then please give the video a thumbs up. It will really help me out. And if you haven't subscribed then what are you waiting for? It's free. Don't forget to subscribe. And that's all for now and I shall see you next time. Bye. This is how you try and make a thumbnail, right? Like I've just got to hold some things. Can we fit you here? You can't even see that. Okay, and then this hand will have this, this, and this. This is like really hard work, you know. I hope you could. Yeah. I love you. Okay.